Welcome to Mini Cooey's Movie Picks. Today we are talking giants, huge, mega sized fun, and epic. So let's get things started. Number one, James and the Giant Peach. Rotten Tomatoes, 91%. This movie makes no sense. Why even is the story of boy in a large peach with bugs to New York and why? Because, and a giant rhino in a storm. Just what is anything in this movie? So many questions to never be answered. Number 2. The BFG. Rotten Tomato, 75%. Such a lovely, tender movie. Thank God for Steven Spielberg and his attention to detail. Love the giant's phrases. Stunning color in Dream Cave. I couldn't get over how creative the mixing of dreams were, and I teared up when the BFG says some things can be undone and we are not to be forgiven. The script saying that dreams happen so fast, but there are facts that last so very long to spot on correct. The character is such a culmination of our good and bad deeds. The dream pun was brilliant. Just brilliant. And the dreams themselves? How clever. Number 3. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Rotten Tomatoes, 42%. This is my new favorite film of all time. There are new never-before-seen kaiju moments such as King Ghidorah's heads talking to each other, King Ghidorah also regenerating a separate head, a pilot injected in to Rodan's mouth, a Category 6 hurricane at Boston, new kaiju, Godzilla trying to swallow one of Gondora's heads but destroyed it with atomic breath instead, Godzilla also using his torso plates to create a threat display, all the other kaiju bawling down at Godzilla right before the end credits, an epic led in to the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong, and the ambiguous scene where the several Gondora Heh, serve severed Ghidorah head being purchased. There are also classic movie callbacks such as Godzilla fighting Ghidorah in Antarctica, just like he did against Gagan in Final Wars. Ghidorah losing heads just like he did in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, bringing back to the oxygen, oxygen destroyer. A nuclear bomb makes Godzilla more powerful and making him a burning Godzilla just like in Godzilla vs. Destroya and a possible future appearance of the Mega King Ghidorah. Finally, there are far more Kajori camera time than in 2014. Will Godzilla vs. Kong go ever further and set the favorite film of all time bar even higher? I will just have to wait and see until release. And now, here comes the bonus artworks on Mixopolis Channel. Spankenstein meets a giant woman. Fee, fi, foo, what? Marina and her mom catching a giant fish. Featuring Jackson by 22 row 2. Credit goes to him. Hey, I caught something. Well, there you have it for today. So, next time we're heading babysitter. We'll see you next time. Bye.